Now, uh, could you talk us through the kind of challenges uh, that are being faced by the education system in Gabon? Uh, thank you very much for inviting us to this uh, interview. In Gabon, we have problems related to quality education. As far as gross enrollment ratio is concerned, we have high level of gross enrollment ratio. At least 95% of uh, school age going children are in school. But the issue is the access to quality education. So one major challenge is how to improve quality education in Gabon. That is why two, days, two years ago, they organized an important meeting concerning the new school to be designed. This summit, education summit, helped prepare an education act that has been signed early this year. The issue is to promote excellency in education and the government is making efforts to really improve the infrastructure, train teachers, and also design appropriate curricula for meeting the new challenges, helping Gabon to be an emerging society. That is the situation now as far as education globally is concerned. When? Nevertheless, we do have problems as far as non-formal education is concerned and the promotion of national languages. They have to undertake great efforts in order to use national languages in expanding non-formal education and also vocational education. Dr. Kamara, when you uh, look at a government spending in education, it's been sitting around 3.8% of GDP since uh, 2000. Well, that's lower than the 4.2% uh, that we are seeing on the continent. Uh, could the government perhaps increase uh, this rate going forward? Mm. Yes, we have the issue of the percentage, but the major is how to use this percentage. If you have a 3%, if it is pro usually pro pro used properly, then you, ca you can have better impact as far as the results are concerned. Even if you have 10% contribution to uh, education, but if it is not properly used or managed, you will have still problems of achieving your goals. So the issue is combining both the increase in terms of uh, percentage of GDP, at the same time, very important, which is very important, how to use it properly, the distribution of this amount according to priorities. For instance, if you use this amount of money in facilities that are not appropriate, you are not achieving. So the important issue is how to build quality education with the amount available. And that is a major challenge for uh, almost all African countries. So how involved is the private sector in Gabon in helping to alleviate some of the challenges that we just spoke about? Mm. In fact, when you look at primary education, we can say that uh, almost the majority of schools are belonging to private sector. Uh, that is the reality as far as, as far as primary education is concerned. Uh, they are trying to open institutions at the tertiary level, and uh, this is a general trend in Africa. We have many schools, management schools, having informatics, uh, all kind of uh, training institutions are emerging uh, in the private sector. But still, what we need is to organize, to coordinate all this funding and to have a broad scheme in terms of uh, organizing one and creating synergy among all these partners in the interest of education.